Cancer. This will happen in the next 48 hours for July the 27th through July the 28th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Cancer for July the 27th through July the 28th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Cancer for July the 27th through July the 28th, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Cancer for July the 27th through July the 28th, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Cancer. Cancer, these are your cards, honey. So, <clears throat> Cancer, you have the Emperor. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus, but the Emperor is someone who runs empires. This is a boss, a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. This is usually an older gentleman. It doesn't have to be, but someone who's wise yet stern. Someone who wants complete control and authority. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the emperor is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child or because the emperor is a father figure. Could also be dealing with someone you work with and do business with here. Clarify the emperor for cancer. Clarify the emperor for cancer. Clarify the emperor for cancer. It is clarified with the nine of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is wish fulfillment, but this can also speak to you feeling smug or overindulging in alcohol or substance abuse. So Cancer, listen, you can tell me that you're getting your wish. Could be feeling smug or overindulging, trying to numb out. <clears throat> so Cancer, you could be getting your wish with this Taurus, this Aries, this spouse, this parent of your child, someone you work with or do business with here. You know, you can tell me that you're getting your wish with having some type of control here. We're going to find out what this is about. Cancer, you have the Wheel of Fortune. This is divine timing at play. This is the karmic wheel of destiny. This is a faded event. This is change in your luck and fortune. Well, this wheel can spin and you can have good luck and fortune. Or this wheel can spin the other way and things can get a little rocky for you. So Cancer, listen, you can tell me that everything between you guys has changed. You can tell me it's an actual change in your luck and fortune, or this is about divine timing. Clarify the wheel of fortune for cancer. Clarify the wheel of fortune for cancer. Clarify the wheel of fortune for cancer. It is clarified with the Hierophant. <laughs> Could be dealing with a Taurus, but the Hierophant speaks to the leader of a religious organization, the leader of a metaphysical organization. This is a clergyman, a pastor, a preacher, a teacher, a coach, a mentor, a counselor, someone of wise counsel. This is the institution of higher learning. This is a corporate institution. This is the marriage card. So Cancer could be dealing with a Taurus. <clears throat> But you guys may be in a commitment. Someone may have commitment on the brain here. This can be about forgiveness. This can be dealing with an institution, organization, governmental agency, religious differences or values. Clarify the Hierophant for Cancer. Clarify the Hierophant for Cancer. Clarify the Hierophant for Cancer. It is clarified with the Ace of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is a brand new, passionate, creative endeavor. 
Now, this can be the spark of a new idea. This can be some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So brand new passionate beginnings. So listen, Cancer, you can tell me that you have the spark of a new idea. Could be initiating something here. This can be passionate communication, romantic passion, or a heated discussion or argument, or starting a passionate new beginning. So Cancer, look, listen, <clears throat> maybe dealing with your actual luck and fortune here, dealing with an institution, organization, a governmental agency, you may have initiated something or started something. Are you the boss? It's like, it's giving me I'm the boss vibes. I'm the boss here. Hmm. You can tell me that you guys had some type of heated discussion or argument and someone wants forgiveness to change things here. However, you know, things may be changing between you guys. There may be forgiveness and we're making up here. We'll see. <laughs> Cancer, you have the magician. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you're trying to manifest, trying to make something happen. And you have all the tools and resources available to you to manifest whatsoever you will. You have the water element, the earth element, the air element, the fire element, and the ethers. So with great focus and intent, you can manifest. So, Cancer, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you're trying to make something happen here. Clarify the magician for Cancer. Clarify the magician for Cancer. Clarify the magician for Cancer. It is clarified with the Six of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is balance, equality, reciprocity, equal give and take. This is matching the efforts, energy, time, love, patience, resources, and responsibilities in a relationship. This is balance, but this can also speak to the merchant giving to two, being generous and giving to two. This is also a payout card, a gifting someone card, assisting someone card. So Cancer, so listen, you can tell me that something is off balance here. Something could be off balance with the giving and receiving. You may be giving something here, receiving something here, or you're telling me that someone was giving more somewhere else, giving to two. So are you trying to manifest receiving something here? An actual change in your luck and fortune? Are you trying to manifest giving something here? Maybe because you're wanting forgiveness here? I know you're not trying to manifest dealing with more than one person at a time. Mm -mm, no. Cancer. You have the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This king is a very intelligent, analytical, and logical king. He only wants to deal with the truth, the facts, and the proof of the matter. So this is about truthful communication, and this is about making a decision. So Cancer could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this King of Swords, coming forth with truthful communication or making a decision. Clarify the King of Swords for Cancer. Clarify the King of Swords for Cancer. Clarify the King of Swords for Cancer. It is clarified with the world. So you may be at a distance from your partner, either emotionally or physically at a distance. You may have traveled recently or will travel in the near future. But the world symbolizes closing out a cycle to start a new cycle, closing out a chapter to start a new chapter. So Cancer, you can tell me that there's distance between you guys, emotional distance, a geographical distance. You can tell me that a cycle is closing out completely or someone is wanting to come back around again. Clarify the world. For cancer, clarify the world. For cancer, clarify the world. For cancer, it is clarified with the four pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you holding back, holding off, keeping something close to your chest. Now this is also a card of a miser, a penny pincher. Someone who's holding back their coin, saving their money, being stingy. Someone who's closed off, blocked off, not opening up. So Cancer, listen, you can tell me that you're closed off, blocked off, not opening up. You can tell me that you're holding on to your coin, saving your money, being stingy, or you're keeping something close to your chest here. <clears throat> Cancer, is it that you're needing to make a decision? Is it concerning some type of travel here? It very well could be for work or business. 
trying to manifest more money, some type of travel here and saving your money. However, you can tell me that you're making a decision. I can't even speak. <laughs> you're making a decision to close out this cycle and you're just keeping to yourself. You're not opening up for whatever reason. Cancer. You have this Hierophant again. Like I said, it could be dealing with a Taurus, but you can tell me that you guys are in a commitment. Someone may have commitment on the brain here. This can be about forgiveness. This can be dealing with an institution, organization, governmental agency, religious differences or values. Clarify the Hierophant for Cancer. Clarify the Hierophant for Cancer. Clarify the Hierophant for Cancer. It is clarified with the seven of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you being defensive. You're on the defense. But this can also speak to you being put in a position where you're having to defend yourself against rumors, gossip, and other people's opinions. Now, this can be you shunning someone, fighting someone off, setting boundaries with someone. But this is also an accusatory card. So you could be being accused of some type of rumors and gossip and you're giving your defense or excuse here. So Cancer, listen, you can tell me that you're standoff or shunning and setting boundaries with this person, or you're trying to come in and explain and give your explanation excuse or defense here. Now, dealing with this Hierophant, you can tell me that you're initiating something, you have the spark of a new idea. This can be passionate communication, romantic passion, heated discussion or argument, or starting a passionate new beginning. Is this work or business dealing with an institution, organization, governmental agency? You're trying to manifest more of a payout here. There's been some type of change in your luck and fortune. You're making a decision about this. Maybe some type of travel is involved here. You're having to save your money. You hold on to your coins here. Kind of defensive here. Could have been a heated argument and you're kind of defensive here. Or you're setting some type of boundaries. Or look, like don't play with me. Don't play with me. Don't play with my money either. Hmm. You know, I deal with relationships. <laughs> but I don't, I, don't, I don't think I see relationships here. <laughs> I do, but it won't make sense to you, okay? I do, but it really, it just really, you know, I'm just going to give it to you then. I'm just going to give it to you. Because with the Hierophant, this speaks of commitment here, right? <laughs> now, you can say, you know, you want to change things or in timing here, you want to initiate some type of commitment. You want commitment. Or you're arguing with this person about commitment. You're trying to manifest them giving you some equal give and take here, giving you a bling bling shiny thing. And make sure it's big here. Why? Because you're the emperor and you're in control. Could be feeling smug here, okay? And also getting your wish to be in control. So you're controlling this person to come into you, to give you here, to go into some type of commitment. You're setting the boundaries. You're setting the standards. If not, you're going to be cold as a king of swords and close out shit with them and be closed off to them and not speak to them. So it's like you're being bossy. And I really didn't want to go there. So, Cancer, I'm going to take a look at the Hidden Truth Oracle for you. <laughs> and so, uh-huh, I replay our conversations over and over. Mm. I replay our conversations over and over. Cancer, this will happen in the next 48 hours for July the 27th through July the 28th, 2023. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at Her Immortal Madge, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.